This is Heather from sisterwigs.com and this is the Perfection Wig by Gabor. Got a lot of opinions about this particular wig. Oh, and the color, by the way, is GL4466SS Sugared Nickel or Shaded Sugar Nickel. I really like this color, so I'm happy that they've started to release it in more styles. Don't forget to vote. Like, don't like, tell me what you think. You know, that, that could be just a simple thumbs up on this video or leaving a comment for us. And if you would like to support what we're doing here, in addition to voting for your preferences, make sure you subscribe because that is the easiest way to support our channel without spending a dime. Here are my initial impressions of this wig. I really like it. I think this wig is very light density, easy to wear. It's a nice alternative to something like Allure by John Renault. Allure has a, an open cap and it's got a very similar cut, but it's got a lot more hair and it's just a lot thicker. It's got permatease everywhere. Perfection does not have that stuff. So if you like the concept of cuts like Allure or like Sparkle by Raquel Welch, but you want something that's you know, intentionally flatter. Something that's got a little bit more natural density and volume, and perhaps, you know, some monofilament features. Perfection will give that to you. Perfection has a really beautiful temple to temple lace front, and I'll show you that in more detail when I take off the cap. She's got luscious layering with this really soft kind of curl. I mean, she's kind of what you would consider like almost like a long pixie. She's definitely not a traditional pixie because you know, the length of it. Most pixies are way shorter than this in the front, but she's definitely got, you know, the pixie length in the back, and then that sort of long modified, almost like a boy cut in the front. Very pretty, and I love, see how that kind of swoops and has this really soft, big curl. I think that makes this look feminine, but not prissy, and makes it very easy to wear. Now this is still fairly unisex style, so that's why it being femme but not prissy is a good thing because depending on how you style it, you could make this look, you know, kind of butch if you wanted to. Um, I think that if you straighten this with a steamer, you would have a really nice boys cut, but that really soft curl gives it this really beautiful sort of feminine texture that's soft and very pretty. Well, let's take a look at the inside of perfection here. So this is the part that's gonna be right up against your head. So bear that in mind. You've got some soft felt right up here on the ear tabs. And that ear tab's gonna have a little bit of flexible metal so you can adjust it. This also has a really nice display of under knotting, particularly here at the top. That basically is a knotting technique right at the front here to help it look a little bit more natural without there being lace all the way on the extreme side. You get a lot of elastic with these Gabor wigs. I think they fit average large. They're, they're a little bit large, particularly in the circumference, though I will say that the ear to ear is often average on the average wigs. We do have an extended felt nape here in the back and Velcro for the adjusters. There is a glueless, pre-cut, transparent, temple to temple lace front, and a left side monofilament part. Because that felt goes all the way up and around <laughs> the front hairline and all the features on the top of the cap of this wig, you'll wanna make sure you part it right down the center of those monofilament part features. Um, so that way you can get adequate coverage on this seam, which is very opaque from the other side of the wig. So that's about a wrap on Perfection. I think she's really nice and comfortable on. I enjoy wearing her. I kind of feel like I, I forget like she's on after a while. It's just that lightweight, doesn't get real hot. This is a great selection for somebody who has heat flashes because it's just, it's, it's very, very, very lightweight, but it gives you just enough monofilament features so that way it looks realistic without it being too hard to handle. It's just a really nice wig. I like the name, I think it fits. As far as shortcuts go with natural density, sure, let's call this Perfection, which is its name after all. 
I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with our moment of gratitude. I would like to thank everybody who hangs out with us on Instagram. Thank you for palling around with us there. I often demonstrate these wigs in advance on Instagram before I show them here on YouTube. It's just because I'm doing all this stuff myself now. Thanks COVID-19. Due to budget cuts, necessity is the mother of invention. And I am editing a lot of this stuff myself. I'm building the sets myself. I'm you know, getting the lighting together and all this stuff. And it's a lot of trial and error. So if you notice that the lighting seems to change from video to video, that's on purpose. I'm tweaking it as I go. Um, definitely not a professional, but I'm, I'm trying to make it work. Tim Gum would be proud. And uh, I'd also like to thank my patrons on Patreon for enabling that endeavor and helping finance the purchase of equipment that helps me improve the content of the videos. So thank you so much for that. And thank you again to AKGG, who's been our top patron on Patreon for since we opened. So thank you so much for that. We really appreciate having you there. And thanks to you guys for watching. If you made it all the way through this video and all the kudos, then kudos to you too. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.